Hello, my name is Romy, Casty Baby is on my bed, and when I did my cute bits and bobs on my bookshelf, I talked about my pin collection, and I said that maybe I would... Is that the moment to burp? No, it's not. I said that maybe I would do a full video dedicated to my pin collection. And that's what I'm gonna do. So this is my pin collection. Um, oh, it's a little dust. So I used to have my pins all strung up around my mirror that's on this wall. Um, I had lights strung up around them and all pegged on pins and it was very cute but then I got too many pins and the lights continually fell down and I decided I needed to change something. So after some trials and tribulations I made this. Um, this is an old frame that I put some cute little flowers on. It's got cork board. And it's got my pins on it. This isn't all of my pins. I do have some over on my desk that maybe are more special or I just like looking at like regularly. Don't know what that chicken thought she was doing. But she was having a good time eating something. So I don't know if I'm going to show every single one of these pins or just specific ones. But hey, let's get into it. A little sneak peek of my pins and my spectacular camera skills. Why, oh, thank you for that applause. <laughs> ah. Okay, first I'm going to start. I really should have put them over here, shouldn't I? You get all prepared and then you change your mind. Alright, first I'm going to start with the pins that aren't on my cork board. The ones that are still on their backings in most cases. I mean, some of them aren't. First off is this. This pin is by The Clever Clove and features a signature hedgehog um, Henrietta in a Christmas outfit. I got this for Christmas. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. Then we have this brooch, which is in fact not a pin, but I was going to show it anyway because there's no chance I couldn't show this because it is so ruddy adorable. This is a hand crocheted brooch. Um, I can't remember the seller's name, I got this for Christmas, but I will insert it here. Tracy Craft. Thank you, Romy. Oh my gosh, you're so welcome. It's just so delicate and beautiful and feels so full of love and I just got dust on it. I just adore it and I always have really loved the vision, the visuals, the look of strawberries and it's got little strawberries and oh. I love it. Then we have this pin. This pin I actually got off Depop um, a while back. I think I showed it. And I have no idea who it's made by. It's this beautiful like laser cut pin of a bunny. This is probably also one of the largest pins I have and it just adds such a cute little pop of whimsy. Oh what a cute word! Whimsy! Use whimsy in your vocabulary today. Then we have this pin. This pin is old and quite grubby. And um, on my first plane trip, I think it was my first plane trip, there's a picture of me on my plane outfit wearing it and it's this very cute Disney Winnie the Pooh like kind of squishy pin um, with Pooh, Eeyore, Piglet and Tigger. And oh, I just love it. And I'm so proud I still have it. You can see that it's kind of grotty and definitely needs a clean. Then we have this pin, which I believe I got for my birthday last year. Another Clever Clove. The Clever Clove is one of my favourite pin makers. Um, the work is just so adorable and lovely. And I just... Very good quality. Very lovely. Very happy with. <laughs> This says we rise by lifting others and has a little squirrel and a raccoon hugging each other and if that is not a statement to live by, I don't know what is. What's that? Another clever clove pin? Another pin of Henriette. Henrietta? Another pin of Henrietta. This one on a little bicycle and I bought this as a treat for me and my mum to share. Look at that. How cute. Would highly recommend. Then we have this pin of Lil Calcifer by Hannah Hinchman Art. I believe Hannah actually sent me this one. Um, she was kind enough to send me a few as a Christmas gift one year. And I think this Lil Calcifer was, oh, it's dusty, was part of that. Well, although I do have pins that have been gifted to me by other people from her store as well. This, I couldn't put this on my pin board because I love the whole design of the backing cards so much as well. Um, 
it's a little fireplace and then it says she likes my spark at the bottom and it's just perfection and then we have this this was I think the first pins I ever got from um, Hannah's store again Hannah Hitchman art and it's the little Totoro um, it's not duo trio and oh I just love it so much Hannah makes such lovely designs and they just transfer to pins so well and I am a big fan of Ghibli and oh, top tier stuff this, they're so cute. We also have this pin which is in fact another brooch. Um, I do not know what the company of this is or if it's handmade. It looks like the backing has broken previously because there's quite a bit of glue spilt on the back but it's this little doggy, um, I don't know if it's a Scotty dog in a little jacket and I got this from an op shop for I think like two dollars or fifty cents or something and it's just so cute I love it next up we have a trio these are by Magical Maidens and um, that store was having a sale last year I think and I bought three pins um, all goofly and I love them so much and I think the idea behind this pin series um, I can't quite remember so I might be wrong but I think it was like ditto becoming Ghibli characters and it's just so phenomenal. So I got a little Kiki who has a tiny little Juju um, on the broom with her. I got Haru from The Cat Returns. I'm showing these very poorly. And of course my darling How. I mean how, how do I show these? It's awful. Magical Maidens when I bought those last year had so many Ghibli inspired pins. So there were like there was Ponyo, there was Sophie from House Moving Castle. Um, there was, now I'm there, I think there was Porco Rosso, um, there were Mei and Satsuki from Totoro, oh, just so many, so cute, oh, I love them, but those three I just cherish. Next up is this pin, this is one of my favourites, one of my first that I bought for myself, and it's a little rainbow flag in a love heart from Compoco, and I just love it, it's so if there is a change in lighting or even setup, it's been a few hours since I was last talking about my pins. Yes, I forgot, and then my camera died. I'm back. Um, I don't know if I was in the middle of something. Probably. Let's go. Next up, I have these two pins. This one is, I think, a cherry blossom, and this is a little um, kitsune, which has like um Jupiter I believe and some stars and moons and shooting stars and mountains painted on it and it's so nice um these were from the shop Lovely Bones which is an Australian store I believe very very adorable I love these I also bought one of these as a gift then I have these ones these are a little prince duo which I got off Gumtree for a couple dollars um there is the rose under her glass case and the little prints. I think these might have come as part of like a collector's edition book or something. I couldn't really find it out, find out what they're originally from, but they're so cute. I can just imagine them on at the side of a lapel or collar. Um, adorable. Then we have these two in a little space themed section. Both of these are from Compoco, um, the same place as the rainbow flag heart pin and we have a little glittery unicorn with pastel colours um, out to space and a little space cat getting ready to adventure the universe. Then we have these two, these are both by Hannah Hitchman Art, um, we have a little Baron and Muta both from The Cat Return. These pins I have had for years and years and years and I love them so much. I wear, I used to wear Muta an awful lot and I really love wearing them together on my collar. I think they look just so cute. Um, these feel very like original pins. So I just love them so much. This one is another Clever Clove pin and I think one of my newest pins and it's one, a design that I've admired for years and years and never got. Um, it comes in two colours, it comes in a pastel colour or this beautiful navy blue and it's a love heart with 
foliage and flowers and it says courage to your heart and I just love it so much. Then we have this pin. I can't remember the brand of this, um, but I will put it here. Rolex Studio. Thank you again, Romy. <laughs> oh, shucks. This one I haven't worn in quite a while. Um, I remember it had really lovely card backing, like the whole design was just beautiful, their packaging. Um, but I've just noticed when I've taken it off, it's actually getting like a bit tarnished around the like on the gold silver colour and the back is quite tarnished which is interesting I've never seen that happen to a pin before but it's a hand and it says all hope is not lost and I bought this when I needed that reminder so it's I think it's a really beautiful simple subtle but also meaningful pin I love it I thrifted these two pins recently and um, we have this beautiful little poppy I think these were a dollar each they were about a dollar each and we have Poppies, which are part of the, they're from the militaryshop.com.au um, for Remembrance Day, I believe. And then we have this cute little vintage Winnie the Pooh, which is for Friendship Day, and I thought that was so sweet. This is from the Tell Draws Stuff, and it's a little cat playing the triangle, and I always love when I wear this, I feel just, <laughs> I don't know what this means, like top tier, top tier amazing. Um, I always think it's just so fun. I have these two amazing labyrinth inspired pins. Again, I can't remember the store name, so I will put it here. Art lab pins. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have this glittery peach. These are both from the same store. We have this glittery peach that says it's only forever. And then we have um, like the kind of, I think, Escher staircase situation that happens towards the end of the film um and it's this amazing um type or font i don't know it's printed in a way that if you look at it straight on it's quite hard to read it looks almost like patterns but then you angle it and it stares and it stares it says on the stairs i move the stars for no one um and oh i'm a big big fan of labyrinth I think I'm only going to watch show one more now, so there may be a part two, maybe. Um, and it is this one, Be Just, Merciful and Brave. This beautiful typo typography scroll with flowers. This is from The Clever Clove, and I actually, this is my second one of this, because I got one for Christmas along with my birthdays, and I lost it. It went completely missing, and I was really, really sad. Um, so I ended up buying myself a replacement because I love it too much and I'm so sad that I didn't have it anymore. And it's just lovely and encouraging and beautiful. So that is about half of my pin collection. If you'd like to see the rest of them, I may do that. I really love my pins. I, I really enjoy talking about them. Um, there are definitely the shops and creators that I go back to again and again because I just love their work. Um, and yeah, I've got some more ones that I'd like to show, so. <laughs> That's all from me for now. All from Castor, who is actually not here anymore because as I said, there was a couple hour break into mission and she's gone to a different room now. And I'll see you again. Sometime soon.